Don't no, stop it. You know? You know? Yep. What are you, where are you? Second edge. Yep. A second edge of 16 in verse 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Yep. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Yep. Gird up yourselves with cloths of sack and hair. Mm -hmm. Bewoe your children and be sorry. Uh, it's like it. It's like it. And be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Yeah, they're going to bewail their children. But you know, a lot of these parents now, the New World Order is raising their children. So that, that love of many shall wax cold. The parents are going to do that with their babies, man. You know, because they really don't care about the kids now. No. You know, they allow a phone to raise them, an yeah. uh, uh, institution to raise them, a TV to raise them. Parents ain't parents. You got little kids with cell phones. You know what that doorway that they're watching? They're watching witchcraft. They're watching rituals. They're being over-sexualized. And you as parents are allowing it. Because the new world order has got its teeth sunk in, man. It's already in. The Trojan horse is here. <laughs> it's here, bro. Keep going. Uh, second edge 16 and verse 3. And Esau know it, but he don't give a shit. You know? Esau will use his job just so he don't got to be around his kid. Esau will hire a nanny just so he ain't got to raise him. Esau put his mother or father in a fucking home just so he don't got to take care of him. You know, they show you that little giants. Yep. Remember the dude, he always wanted his dad to come with the game. He'd pack his briefcase up work. and go dip, you know, go freak off somewhere. And now his son's being raised by someone else, you know? Second after 16 and verse 3, a sword is sent upon you, yep. and who may turn it back? Hey, it says a sword, right? What's it saying, uh, Ezekiel? The sword, the sword is sharpened. Hey, why are you making mirth? There's a sword coming, man. Right. There's a, it's like, here it is, you see a, a damn meat cleaver flying at you, and let's play tic-tac-toe. You're gonna, you, if you physically saw it, you would, you would get out the way. But see, blesses your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. They can't see it like we do, you know? We see it, man. That's why we're living in the biggest, I told you so, in known history. Next to that was what? Noah. Then I told you, man. I, I, why do you think I was building this ark? You know what I'm saying? Why do you think we're out here? Because we understand and can see what's coming. That's why you brothers are out here. Because you see what's coming. And that's why we're all going to receive the same penny. Because we all see the same thing. <laughs> you know? Be gone. Verse uh, 4. A fire is sent among you. And who may quench it? Yep. Plagues are sent unto you. Hey, well, let's speak about it spiritually. What's that? Jeremiah 51. I shall send fanners. Said fire is sent among you. See, but people can't see that fire. We spiritually see, so like we spiritually see the fire, and it's continuing and growing and growing. What I saw out there, uh, you know, in, in uh, uh, the in the land trodden down by Gentiles, because see, they uh, took my video down. So I'm about to start using some. <laughs> I'm about to start speaking more parables. But the land trodden down by Gentiles. That was a, hey, and then this dude, it was on Jason A. You brothers know Jason A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was talking about it. He said, now we know that 70 AD, but is it not being trodden down again? And I'm like, this is beautiful. See? So prophecy is taking effect right in front of us, you know? He might be a Jake too. Who? Jason, Jason A? Who? Jason A might be an insider. I've never seen Jason A. Oh, right. He might be a CIA. You know how they do. Yeah. You know? And it, it says, um, now Dabu, that's different. Yeah, that's his, yeah. You know, he's different, you know. It says, uh, the second edge 16 in verse 5 on page 34. And it says, hey, and this proves we got to be out here in the Agora. You wouldn't find nothing like this in the hood. You know? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't find nothing like this out in, in, the, in the ghetto. You know? Mm -hmm. I actually had a dream of that, of somebody arguing with me about why we don't teach in the hood. Well, because there ain't nothing there. There ain't nothing. This is where it's at. Look, all right here. You see? The main place of concourse. Read this. It says, <clears throat> verse 5, Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Many plagues. Even one of the plagues is that the plagues will be sent on Jake that ain't written in the book. So new plagues are coming. And on top of that, you have, oh, and I'll say this. Uh, when somebody gets a plague, that's an evil angel on them. You can go, you go uh, back with, with King David, and then you go into the account with the woman. Yeah. What was that? What was that? What book? Luke? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Luke uh, 13. But it, well, well, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? You can go into the scriptures, and Yahweh Shai said how she has a spirit yep. of an infirmity on her. Mm -hmm. So there's evil angels out here on people, man. 
You know, if you sick, you got an angel on your back, you know? But those plagues are more than just something that a hospital can cure. The plagues will also be sent through war. And not biologically, but nuclear. The missiles. The missile is known as a plague, you know? Yeah, yeah, real quick. This is the book of uh, St. Luke, chapter 13, and verse, uh, let me see, verse uh, 12. That's like a, a verse 11. Luke 13 and verse 11. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. See? She had a spirit of infirmity. So infirmity is what? A, a pestilence, a plague, a disease. So saying these plagues are going to be on a spiritual level. You know? Because you got the, uh, the angels holding back the winds, right? Meaning they're holding back what you know as war. Okay? But when, when it is allowed... Because remember, flame is nothing but is a spirit. Flame is a spirit. So when the Lord allows that spirit to quench, it's gonna it's gonna really burn. But those are gonna be the ministers of flame and fire. So in essence, on a spiritual level, <laughs> you know, you gonna you want the Lord's spirit's gonna be in those nukes, you know, as it says. And, and it says uh, the Lord's a consuming fire. And what's he gonna consume? Wickedness, right? Read this. Finish off real quick, and it says, "And was bowed together, and could uh, and could in no wise lift up herself." Yeah, that was the point. You got something wrong? Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. This is Jeremiah fifty-one and verse one. Yeah, good. Yeah, get that. You know, it proves too that this place is wicked. You got women walking around with mustaches on. That's an androgynous. You know, that's actually satanic. Because the Bible says that a woman should not put on a man's apparel, you know, and and what they say vice versa. So that's actually satanic. Walking around with a fake mustache on, that's 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 a vibration of the devil. <laughs> it is. Esau. Yeah. Jeremiah fifty-one and one. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me. A destroying wind. Oh, don't it say, uh, I'll destroy all them that fought against Jerusalem? Yep. You know? So a great destroying wind is coming, man. Hey, and wind is powerful in itself. And it's not like you could see wind. You just see the debris that's being picked up from it. That's a spirit, man. That's why it tells you in Wisdom of Psalm 13 that men would uh, praise wisdom, uh, wind like a god. Yeah, you know? Because yeah. it's a spirit, really. Yeah, you know? Right. It says... And will send unto Babylon banners yep. that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Right. And the fanners are going into what you see happening right now because America has always been conditioned to there. there's something going on, but then it'll die down. Just like a fire. You start a fire, but if you don't keep feeding it, what happens? It'll die down. So the Lord is continually to keep sending something to keep the fire burning, you see? And the fanners, the, the, the Lord can have a fanner out somewhere else and it affects it here. Case in point, what's going on in Gaza? That's affecting here. People were in New York City uh, protesting for what's going on over there, you know? But, but you know, keep your eye on that because remember, the least of the flock shall draw them out. So this is, this is leading to the, to the least of the flock to be like, yo, you know, I, I need help, right. you know? Man, if I may add, another thing is you got the senators over here talking about don't renew the Iran talks because of Iran having been funded in mosques and all of what's going on, you know? And then you got, um, you got like Muslim uh, supporting like reporters, they got Esau under a microscope. He said, so are you saying you agree with bombing a school if just one you know, was in there. Yo, know, he was cutting them. If the Lord gave him a mouth, they couldn't gain say it resist. And so the, 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 there's a there's a, a spirit of contention. It's heavy. Like it, it's like people are ready. Z Zionists and Islam. That, yo, that's two heavy major religions that are ready to bang out. And they're uh, those missiles that they're shooting back and forth at each other. Uh, Israel is uh, basically uh, on purpose in uh, news buildings. Oh wow. So the, so the news over there, real like a lot of real news over there ain't really getting out over here to us. Oh yeah, the first attack was on the news tower. No, uh, no so man. what's that gonna do? No. That's gonna that's gonna lead them to call in Iran. Cause a fun fact, 
Uh, Y'all brothers know Iran backs Palestine as being a state. Yeah. When in uh, 1979, I don't think it was 69, but I think it was 1979, the, um, the revolution was ended between like Iran and Israel and all that. And uh, Iran, since 1979, has never recognized Israel as being a state. So they don't recognize that as being nothing. Meaning they could, if they wanted, they could invade it. They could take it over. You see, so that's gonna that's a conflict, which is gonna lead to a war because uh, uh, Israel is the least of the flock who's allied with the U.S. And then um, Palestine is allied with Iran, and Iran is allied with who? Mother Russia. So it's gonna be a domino effect, a bar brawl. You're about to witness a bar brawl, and all these the, the liberal women's rights. Your ass is gonna get drafted too. You see. So get ready for a brush cut G.I. Jane. Your ass is going to war. You know? Uh, and what, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? They want rights, right? Equality, right? You want equality, we'll go fight for your country. You know, you're going to have to. Because if not, you're going to have someone come here and take away those rights. Uh, read that. Look. Back in second edge of 16. It's like, yes, I'm Back in second edge of 16. In verse, uh, sorry, five again. It says, "Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry, a hungry lion in the wood? You could barely drive away a cold. Should a common, you know, common cold to put your ass out? I can't go to work today. So how much more the, the plagues of the Lord, man? Right. I'm telling you, it's weird out here today. There's a lot of characters." Keep going. And it says, or may anyone quench the fire and stubble? You know what this is? Can we get, a, what are you holding, brother? Oh, you do? I also want to get Isaiah 24. This this is showing you, oh, and then uh, take bomb for her. This is them taking bomb. This is how you would take bomb. Let me show you. You see that? That is a desperate measure at trying to, uh, to get the water. You know? Nostalgic. You're not gonna get it back. You're not gonna get it back, man. Yeah, it's over. Man. It's over. No more George Clooney's, Brad Pitt's, no more 96 Bulls. Right. That shit is done, man. Yeah, the mirth is gone, man. No more White Christmas. That shit is through. Uh, back in second after 16. I could, I could see people trying to celebrate certain holidays earlier just yeah. to get that, you know? You got women turning 30 trying to re-celebrate their 21st birthday. Through. You're they coming. Do that now in the department stores before uh, Christmas over there. I said for See? Yep. See? Mm -hmm. You know? There was a movie I was watching. Damn, I think he was watching with me. But pretty much in that movie, they knew judgment was coming. So they all made themselves a last meal. And then when they went and sat down to eat it, they couldn't even eat that shit. They were crying. Oh, shit. Remember, it was a dude. He was sitting down with his kids. And they, oh, uh, signs. Oh, the okay, movie okay. signs with Mel Gibson. With Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, he whipped up all, and he ain't believing God because yeah, the, yep. the Lord took his wife. I don't believe in God. You're yep. selfish. But anyways, they knew shit was about to hit. It was it was Rev 12 and 7. So they all made themselves their last meal. And when they sat down to ate it, the nigga was crying while he was eating, man. Yeah. So, Your uncle was crying. Everybody yeah, everybody's crying. crying. It's over, man. You know? Hey, smiles are going to be uh, extinct very, very soon. You're gonna have to buy a smile. <laughs> See this? You're gonna run to Walmart. Do you have any more smiles left? Please. Owl, where's the owl? Yeah, where's the owl for smiles? What you need is a faith mask. <laughs> no smiles from smile. owl. No, there ain't no smile from my this? Back in second edge of 16 and verse 6. Or may anyone or may anyone push the fire and stubble? When it had begun to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. Yeah. The mighty Lord, the, the mighty Lord, uh, send the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Yep. So what is this telling you? The Bible is telling you a uh, uh, doom is coming, as it says, doom and gloom. Doom is coming. And then the bridegroom. <laughs> and then the bridegroom. That's right. That's right. You see. So we, we're living in the end days. We're living in, in the last days, so you have to you have to uh, uh, rejoice and be glad and a little bit of gladness that you have, because that's about to be extinct, man. Okay, uh, let's get this though. This is I drop that. Isaiah twenty four, 
and verse uh, three, uh, it says, "The land shall be utterly empty yep. and utterly spoiled, for the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Oshai has spoken Ooh. His word." Because why? This is concerned. Get uh, Jeremiah forty nine seven real quick. Just real, real quick. Because why? This is what the Lord said concerning Edom. <laughs> you know, and you're witnessing. Hey, um, what's that in Psalms where it says, uh, "Oh, Psalms 14." Right, Can King get Psalms 14, Bubba Kasha. Read this real quick. Saint Jeremiah 49 and verse 11 concerning Edom. Concerning who? Concerning Edom. Concerning Edom. So this is for you. This is for you. Keep going. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord. Is the Lord a man that he should lie? No. no. Keep going. It says, is wisdom no more in teeming? Yeah. Is counsel perished from the prudent? Yeah. Is their wisdom vanished? Mm -hmm. Flee ye, turn back, go deep, own the habitants of the, uh, uh, the den. Yeah. For I will bring the, the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I will visit him. There you that's the point. Right. See, so this is concerning Edom. Yes, we go into Jacob's trouble, but hey, you gotta remember in the midst of Jacob's trouble, Esau is gonna be in trouble, which makes the virgin daughter of Babylon in trouble. So you all getting ass whoopings, you know? Just like when Yahweh Shai went in and he, he had that whip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going through the whole house. You see? So the, the house of the thief. It's about to get jacked up. That's right. And everybody in the house. See, we're in the house of the thief because we've been stolen by the thief. But the offsprings of the thief are rejoicing in the midst of that. You know? Uh, that was it. Read this. Uh, uh, Psalm 14. Psalm chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Right. And how do we prove that? Well, our evolution. Well, we're homo sapiens. Right? That's what he teaches. The Big Bang Theory. Don't they teach that in school? You're good, brother. You're good. Don't they teach that in school? How offensive is that? You know what? I'm going to say in the spirit, that shows you they've been preconditioned. You. If they taught you, because I will be offended. As If you think about it, as a, as a man believing in the Most High, I'd be offended sending my child to school to be taught that evolution exists when I'm teaching them the Bible. Right. But then now you teach a child, you're, you know, you're a boy, you're a girl, but then they go to school and they cut. Well, I don't know. I learned today that I could be. See what they do? So they've been doing that. The fact that they've been teaching you evolution because they wanted you to evolve from a man into a woman. You see? So you know, your children are under attack here. You, you, think, you think the problem is just what they say, BLM? You're all in the, in the cauldron. You're all being stirred in the pot of wickedness. You know? This ain't a black thing. <laughs> this all of you now. You're all in it together. Uh, keep going. Isaiah. No, no, suck it, suck it, Rama. It says, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. Yeah, they've done abominable works. The marking of the beast is an abominable work, and it's an idolatrous mark, man. Because they're putting it on a level to be what? Worship. But of course, uh, the fool that don't believe in a higher power will create something to be like as what? God. Yeah. It says, There is none that doeth good. Yep. Uh, Yahweh looks down from heaven. There is none the that, of men. There's none that doeth good, which means what? We're in the days of Noah, because in Genesis 6 it says the heart of man was uh, to be evil continually. Mm -hmm. It was it was they only imagined evil. You see? Evil. That's all people want. They want self-willed evil uh uhness. Everybody out here is for their own. You see? It's a, it's a very wicked vibration of covetedness, selfishness, idolatrous. Hey, man, even women are idols now. You know? The mere fact that you got to bow down to a woman is an idol. The Lord, hey, you're not supposed to bow down, remember? You know? But, but who taught you that? The fool that said there ain't no God. But the, the thing is, you weren't supposed to believe him. Oh, Romans 3 and 3. You know, what if some did not believe? You know? Keep going. It says, uh, Yahweh looked down from the he from heaven. And how did he look down? By sending uh, his angels. And we got a clear uh, 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 evidence of that when the angel went to the football game. Yeah. He came down. He said, let me see. Hey, we don't know. It could have been on the Sabbath. You know, I don't remember the exact day, but I'm just saying in the spirit. Say it could have been the Sabbath. Was there, nobody was living by the Sabbath. 
You know, because that's when I seen his face, I picture him like this, you know, like, right. you know, mother, you know, you don't know if it was a, a high holy day, if you will. It was around the time of, of thanks killing, you know, so you don't know what the angel reported back per, uh, besides, uh, you know, men throwing pigs around and slapping ass. Women half naked, no modest apparel. They're, 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 they're eating hot dog. You know what I mean? He was reporting back pertaining to the laws, you know, giving a report. Did not uh, the Lord sent spies to the land of Canaan? Keep going. And that was slander on the Lord's name because the tribe of Gad, you know, the Lord got his name on the, the tribe. Redskin. And then what happened not even a year later, right? Now it's the national Washington football team. The most nastiest, plainest, garbage. That proves the Murph's gone right there. We still got Isaiah. Right, right. You know? Keep going. It says, um, yeah, I will look down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek the most high. Hey, well, I'm going to say this. While the Lord sent that angel down, well, you don't know how many other angels because we was doing the work. We all was doing the work. We even went out. Remember, it's, it's on our channel. We went out on Thanksgiving. You know, we always go out speaking. Out. So if that angel came down, then he reported our good work. The other one wrapped his eye. You know, Lord's will. You know, keep going. So they are all gone aside. They are they are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. See, the days of Noah. Genesis 6. You know, uh, Ramaf, can you get it? Genesis 6 and 4. You hold, you hold that, brother. Read that again. And then, the, and then uh, once he reads that, you read that, Nabar. Um, it says, they are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. Yeah, they're filthy through the lifestyle that this place promotes. Woe to you that call good evil and evil good. Here it is. We're demonized because we don't eat pork. You know, we're demonized because we believe in the Bible. Uh, that's the spirit, see? Okay, completely flat, man. The chariot and the rider. Yeah, that's the chariot and the rider. That's an electric? Oh, that's a luxury car, right? That's a Range Rover followed by a Beamer with a flat on. Wow. You know? The Lord will ruin your day. The Lord will pop your bubble. Right. You know? Um, just that first. Okay. That, that was it? Yeah, you got it, uh, Kabar? The book of Genesis, chapter 6, verse 5. And the Most High, Yahweh, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Great. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Yep. Yeah. See? It's the only evil. And it repented the Lord, Yahweh, that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. You see? So it said that they were evil continually. Now, what does that prove? What precepts should come to mind? Uh, uh, Gabar, get uh, 1 John 2 and 18. What is that telling you on a spiritual level? All these people are plagued with nothing but demons, man. Legions. Because, legions. Because, hey, I, I have a time a demon will try to, you know, that make you think, I, I'm good. You rebuke it. I rebuke Satan all the time. But these people don't know Satan's on them. That They think that's their character. You know? These people are possessed and haunted. The word possessed means to occupy, and the word haunted goes back to haunt, which means to dwell. So an evil angel is occupied and dwelling in your body. Yep. Earthy house. <laughs> Read that, brother? The book of yeah. 1 John, chapter 2, yeah, verse 18. Lives. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Right, the Antichrist shall come. Yep. Even now are there many Antichrists. Ooh. Whereby we know that it is the last time. And you're looking at it. Okay? You're looking. These are all antichrists. These are antichrists, man. Yeah, Anti-Messiah. Anti, you know, anti-Hamashiach. That's the only time we use the C word. Right. You know what I mean? Because there's a demon with that. There's an actual Christ demon. You know? And Jake's heavy into that. I, Jake say that more than Esau. You see? But uh, uh, back where you had Ramoth in Psalms 14... So just like the days of Noah, demons were on these people. It says we be in the days of Noah now. Demons are on these people. None but demons are on them. And demons are on Jake because it says in Isaiah 6, uh, uh, make the eyes heavy and the ears fat. So an angel is like, you know, holding over them, blinding them on a spiritual level. That's why we're not out here tripping. 
Yep. I'll read that, finish it off. Uh, Psalms 14 and 3. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. Yep. There is none that doeth good. Yep. No, not what? See? Have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread yep. and call not upon the Lord? There. Yep. That was it, right? Yeah, that was yeah that, and it says they eat our people as what? Bread. Now, when you go into um, Numbers, Caleb said that the people were as bread. And when you go into the word bread, it means pray. See? Ooh. So they're eating us up as prey. Even Pelosi said, thank you, George Floyd, for your blood sacrifice. Yep. So they're, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Yeah, she said that. So they're sacrificing yep. Jake out here, man. Yeah, I got uh, that Greek definition for any price. Uh, it's any Christos. Any Christos. <laughs> Christos. <laughs> See? It says opponent of the Messiah, the adversary of the Messiah. Oh, wow. uh, you got to go to um, uh, Thessalonians. The uh, he that uh, fight he that has the Most High, you got to get that now because ultimately, who's really fighting against the Most High? Esau. It's really Esau through his Renaissance, through his iconoclasm, through his translations. When translation just means a saint's life, so he even he takes words and monopolizes them. That ain't even your word. He takes scriptures and breaks them down wrong, and then put that's a spell, and now people monopolize it. Now, now, all of a sudden, uh, everyone's got John 3 and 16 but us. It don't apply to us, though, if you think about it. You know? It don't apply to us if you think about it. Nah, John 3 and 16 is for us. But the devil, the devil is the one who's changed uh, the image into a lie. You see? Uh, you got that Thessalonians? What's that? First Thessalonians 2 and 8? Yeah. Or is it second? I was mixing two up. I think it's second Thessalonians 2. You can start at like 8 for the falling away. You know, and we can just kind of read on down. You can start at uh, 3 marriage. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. yeah. Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. It says, <clears throat> lock it. Let no man deceive hey, you. Can I say something? You would have to be in the world to be doing this. I, I had to ask. I said, what's going on down here? I use wisdom. Cause what what, it, what are you in that you would know about this? Right. <laughs> like honestly, we're not in the circles to even know. We had to ask somebody, what are they doing? You know what I mean? They show you this is the world. This is what the world promotes you to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, being distracted until judgment comes. That's ultimately all this is. You're just being distracted and biding time until judgment comes, which it's coming. It's a uh, 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 hourglass effect, right. and you're on your last grain, baby. Read it. Read it. Yeah. It says the Lord speak one. He speak it twice. Right. This is. Uh, I was trying to tell Peter three times. You know? Tell Peter three. He told him thrice. Uh, uh, Paul was shipwrecked thrice. You know. Zephaniah two and fifteen. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly. That said in the heart, I am. Yeah. And there's none beside me. See. They, how she, yep, no, you got, you got. How she become a desolation, yep. a place for beasts to lie down in. Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his head. And I'm going to say this in the spirit. Esau's worried, but his pride won't let it really overtake him. They're worried, you know. They're worried, but they won't let their, the pride won't allow them fully, you know what I'm saying, until that time comes. Then when that time comes, you're going to see that rejoice end. Uh, back in Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians two and verse three. Let no man deceive you by any means. Yeah. For that day shall not come, except it come a falling away first. Right. And remember, they said, uh, "Lord, will thou now restore the kingdom of heaven?" But no, a falling away had to happen. Remember, he said, um, uh, "He that uh, understands the abomination shall uh, come pass round about." See, so a falling away had to take place. Before our kingdom could be established, you see, because in the time of Yahweh Shai on the scene, there was mainly only the southern kingdom. Keep going. And it says, except to come a falling away first, yeah. and that man of sin be revealed. Right. The man of sin has to be revealed because who's the man of sin? The man of sin first was who? Cain. All right. Because what was his sin? Uh, well, it was uh, the, the sacrificing. But then the murdering, he didn't kill, he murdered. He murdered his own brother. He ain't meditate, he did it, you know? 
he's, so he's the man of sin. Sin is sin is uh, his friend. You know what I'm saying? Like he's one with sin. You know. Keep going. And it says you got something, brother. All right. We're it. You got it because we're gonna go keep going into it. Jeremiah 49 and verse 10. Hey, that proves that Esau's profane. You got the brother sitting here. He pulls up behind him. He don't say excuse me. Right. He tries to barge in, and then he just finds, oh, this ain't for me. So he circles <laughs> back, and now he's ringing the bell on the back of the car. This guy is a nuisance. He's trying to spray my arm with his box. I was about to spray it, but See? I my See? Hey, well, he's Mark. And then he said that proves he a demon. He was he was using his bike uh, uh, beeper to make a parked car move. It's all good. The Lord. Right, right. A great ass whooping is a great ass whooping is prophesied for Esau. This is annoying. Yeah. He's just annoying. The Lord's gonna meta world peace him. You know that? Yeah, with Jim, like, <laughs> hard yeah man. And he deserves it. You know, no manners. No proper upbringing, you see? The school system failed them. Society has failed them. We got to start blaming America for Esau's upbringing. <laughs> uh, read, 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 read. Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. Uh, that reminds me of Isaiah, what's that, 27, the covering cast? So everything's being stripped, yep. you know? It's like you have that double mask on. You know, everything's being stripped from him. The, uh, his religion. He can't take religion no more. That's not his. That's been taken, right? Uh, the privilege, that's been taken. You see? The, the the monopolizing and war and nukes, that's been taken. Okay? It's all being stripped away. You know? The most, the most important thing, what you were just saying, the, the mask, you know what it's hiding? What? It's hiding our smile. There you go. Everybody's People smiling to each other. Yep. How you doing? Have a nice day. Yep. And we don't see that no more. You know, know why? Yeah, because the devil's in charge. There you go. There you go. That's it. But the devil's getting ready to get out of commission. It, it tells you in Job that the triumphing of the wicked is short. I, I skip. I skip to the end of the Bible. We win. There you go. That's right. That's right, brother. Hey, have a good one. Look, seven. Seven. That's a Jake. Sounds like hey, you gotta entertain strangers. You heard him. You know, and and we, we gonna win. They got the good. That's a lesson. Hey, now the Lord's little title today. We gonna win. Hey, I hope we make it. We gonna make it. Have faith, brothers. You know, and it was spiritual because I wasn't even talking about the mass, but that's what his spirit perceived. See, read that again. It said, "Made him bear." You know, read it again. Jeremiah forty-nine and verse ten. But I have made Esau bear. So the Lord did it, and we're in Second Thessalonians. Lord, Lord, Lord's will will get it. Remember, it says the spirit of the mouth shall consume him. So how's Esau ultimately being made bear by the Lord through his prophets, through his men being set up? And I, I meditate. And I said, could you imagine the night when the Lord revealed that e that that's Esau? What? Because there was a time where they thought he was Japheth. Yep. 